Welcome to the April 2023 energy update. I've pulled a bunch of cards, one, two, three, four, five cards, and they all just flow so well with each other as they always do. So anyway, I want to um, get started reading those cards for you because I prefer to actually read the message. Um, and then, you know, if I have anything that wants to come up that I'll say about it, I will do that. And so let's get started. Okay, so the first card we have, self-control, higher self. Okay, that's the Sonia Choquette Ask Your Guides deck. And cool image, right? It's got the, the, the body within the body, right? <laughs> okay, so this one, and I am, I said I was going to read from the book, so I'm going to do that. Okay, so it says, your higher self is advising you to keep your emotions in check through these times of change and transition. Because boy, are we going through change and transition, right? Over these past few years. And it's probably going to get worse before it gets any better. And so we need to, um, you know, hold our energy true to ourselves and not let it be depleted by all this stuff that actually is really pretty much outside of you. So um, let's see what it says. So be on guard as well against being manipulated emotionally by the fear and the drum of those around you. Change is in the air and uncertainty is at hand and is stirring up a lot of anxiety and insecurity. So recognize the potential stress and choose to brave the volatile storm while remaining cool, calm, and collected. All right. So whatever you do, don't allow yourself to succumb to the seductive and addictive appeal of high drama as a way of expending the excess adrenaline coursing through your veins, right? So instead, you want to maybe go for a run, um, go work out at the gym, use your anxious physically rather, use your anxiety physically rather than fear provoking action of others, right? So again, you don't want to give your power away and really your power is within you and your ability to remain calm and ability to like check in and see what is what is actually true for you in your life. Um, that That's an inside job, right? So it says, it's difficult to face the unknown, but your higher self calmly assures you that no matter what challenges you encounter, you can handle everything beautifully if you remain detached, relaxed, and grounded. So your higher self message is, stay cool. All right, I like that, stay cool. And so, um, yeah, I think I think that pretty much sums up what's going on right now and how we are to better handle it um, because, you know, there's major things happening and, and systems are breaking down and, and new things will be coming in. It's just having the patience for it and going through the transition without like losing yourself, right? That's why you always want to keep coming back to your center, coming back into your heart. Um, all right. Anyway, this next one, dream catchers. All right. Nice image, right? Look at that. Okay. So that one says without sleep, there are no dreams without dreams. There's no future. Take time to, to visualize your dreams and manifest them into reality, right? So keep your focus on what it is you're creating in your life, where it is you intend to be going. And then the path to follow will come through come to you right so this is saying every time you sleep the vibration is open to you if you want to take a glimpse into the unknown and create what you want so take steps now in dream state and see them as the now truth so i mean you could set up your sleep right with what you intend to move into or dream about you could do that to set up your sleep. But some of us don't remember our dreams. I don't. So I like to just like sit kind of like in meditation and just think about, visualize where I'm going. I may not know the how I'm getting there, but I can see where it is that I will wind up. So as long as you can attach to that energy of where you're going, and the more often you do that, the more you build the vibration within you. And as you know, what you send out comes back, right? So why not do it in your dream state? or in that kind of soft meditative, it's similar to dream state, right? Why not do it then? Okay, so this next card, 
Oh, and I forgot to tell you, that was this little tiny deck, Vibrational Energy. I like this. It's like quick little hits of information. Okay, next one we have is from Sonia Choquette. The answer is simple. And what we get is say no. Say no. Okay. So what's that one telling us? It says the ego is exposing you to behaviors and circumstances that aren't in your best interest. See, and, and that happens because you're looking at things through the lens of fear and worry, right? Then you're going to see those things that um, aren't the things that you want. So you, you just want, it's, I'll just continue. I'll stop talking. <laughs> okay. It's keeping you from being self-loving and honoring your spirit. So be aware of these toxic conditions and say no to them, right? These things that come up that you know it's just not right. So just say no. Don't get sucked into the, the drama or whatever it is. So it says whether your ego is uh, condoning indulgences of the body, emotion, or thinking, or is exposing you to people and things that are that are unconscious and unloving, you know in your heart that the influences around you are harmful, right? So you got to feel your way through a lot of things that are happening. And when you get too scattered and too out there and not like grounded, you don't really see that or sense that or feel that. So it's, it's always like keep coming back to yourself, keep coming back to your heart, feel what is true and real for you, and always looking towards where you're going in your life. Okay, so uh, it says reflect on what behavior or a behavior association or thought that is bringing you down um, in which areas are you moving against the flow of your spirit in what ways are you ignoring the guidance of your higher self and again when you get too scattered and, and give your energy away give your power away to all these outside things you lose sense of what it is that's for your highest good you kind of lose sense of that guidance from the higher self because you're not coming within where you hear it and you're looking out there at all the who knows what that may have nothing to do with you <laughs> right but all of it accumulates and it just brings you down and makes everything feel worse so really keep coming within don't pay attention to first of all anything in the media because it's all a bunch of lies anyway so you don't want to look there so you know look to people who inspire you and and just really tune into your heart and what it is that you're needing and don't keep giving it to outside of you. Okay, well, actually, okay, so the card is say no. I'm just being reminded of that because I'm getting a little sidetracked. And that's it. You're going to say no to those things. So it says, and I might have said this already, in what way are you ignoring the guidance of your higher self? What choices, situations, behaviors, or people are toxic to you? right? Your divine creator has given you the gift of free will and allowing you to make choices in your life. So you're free to make them, but you're, but you're not free of their consequences. Okay. So there's an action to everything we decide and choose to do. So really you want to make it your focus to do things that feel in a higher vibration, that feel good, that feel light to you. Things that feel heavy, they're not in your highest interest. It's one way to figure it out. So another thing, examine the circumstances you face now and recognize which choices brought you where you are. Okay, that's a good idea. And then say no to the negative and toxic ones. So maybe you just sit back and you look at these different things going on. And you're like, oh, I don't even know why I did that or why I engaged in that. You know, like, okay, now I'm saying no to that kind of thing. Like sometimes those things just have to be brought up for you to see them and then realize that it's something that you now want to stay away from. Um, it says, love and value your spirit enough to reject what doesn't serve you. Divine forces will help you once you decide to love yourself enough to firmly say no to those things that just pull you down that in many, many cases are pretty far um, extended from, from you. You know, like it might be somebody else's story that you're listening to or getting sucked into. Um, anyway, so this is the perfect card to come next, right? I love, I love it. I call back my power. Now, it's just a thing with oracle cards, right? Shuffle them up, have an intention, pull the cards, flip them, and then you'll be like, oh my God, it all makes sense. I can't believe it. It, it is no coincidences. It always comes up. And when it doesn't, 
it's a good point to just kind of look at it and think, okay, I know this is, there's a message in here for me somewhere. What the heck is it? Today, these just kind of all flow together. So this one is, I call back my power. And uh, we, what it says here is, your power is your essence and light. It is the part of you that gives you the might to say yes when you want to say yes and no when you really mean no. All right, perfect card to follow up. It's the spark that gives you the confidence to express your talents and to share your gifts. So throughout your life, there will have been moments when parts of your power have been stripped away from you. We all know what that feels like, right? Moments that have felt overwhelming, underwhelming, and emotionally draining. Moments when you felt as though you've left a part of yourself behind. Like you can feel that, right? And if you start feeling that, you just got to return back to your heart. Maybe just sit quietly and just ask questions to a higher power, you know, like, all right, where, where is it that I'm meant to be? You know, send me, send me a message and you'll get it. Okay. So it says, um, but your power is your power. It isn't something that can be taken away from you. It's there forever. And after all, it's rightly yours. Okay. Your power is rightly yours on a spiritual level, level fragments of your power are waiting to be recalled now. So today the universe is encouraging you to take your power back into your own hands and heart. You aren't here to be a victim of unnecessary energies, people, or circumstances. It's time to get behind the wheel and take the lead in your own life. This is your time to rise. This is your time to shine. This is your time to say yes to yourself. All right. Beautiful. And now I always like to wrap up most of the time with the enchanted map, right? By, um, Colette Baron Reed and these cards you can pick them they're either right side up or upside down so today we got this card upside down okay this card is called flying oh, let me see where is that card thought I had it open okay flying it says you have the power to see things from a higher perspective which we do when we allow ourselves right in the reverse this card is telling you that it's a, it's a gentle reminder to tell you that there are times to take flight and times to remain grounded. And for now, you must over, you must avoid overreaching. Okay, there's still work to be done before you can earn your wings. So they give this example. Be patient. What you seek will not be out of reach forever. Remember the story of Icarus in Greek mythology whose wax made wings and overconfidence brought him too close to the sun. He perished because he didn't realize his limitations. Humility is a great power, and now you must exercise it. Doing too much too fast too soon only serves to prevent a beautiful flight later on. And I think that card's coming up especially true for now because there's so much uncertainty out there, right? That you really want to feel your way through the things that you're doing, the next steps that you're taking, the direction that you're going in. Because there is all this stuff coming crumbling down <laughs> that's really big, right, going on in the world. Um, but we want to come back always to us, to our heart, right, knowing when to say no, allowing yourself to say yes to your desires without being pulled down by outside, by who knows, people, circumstances, things outside of you. They have a way of like squashing your energy to where then you don't know where you begin and where you end and what's real and what isn't. So that's why you need to always come back into the heart, right? It's all about love. Everything is energy. When you can be in that energy of love and that vibrations going out, well then things that match it come back, right? When we get stuck into those uh, energies that are of a more negative leaning thing and then they start building you know they pull you away from the love that you are you just can't operate that way you know you need to clear that energy from yourself so even when those things come up you can, again you just kind of sit meditation prayer whatever you want to call it and just talk to your higher self talk to a higher power that that you feel close to in your heart right and uh have a conversation there because you might you might receive an answer right there and then, but you will receive some answers to the questions, to the things that you're bringing up, that you're talking about. You're just getting in better tune with the, the higher self, the higher part of you. And who knows, angels, guides, God, the universe, 
It's not there to help you. It's this other distractions that pull us away from that. So that's, I think that's the biggest point of this is because there is so much going on in the world. And I find this for myself. I have to keep pulling myself back to who I am, what I'm all about, what I intend to do, how I intend to live and just hold that. Because when you hold that and you vibrate that energy, you will live in those conditions in that way. No matter what's going on out there, out there won't matter to you. So I guess that's all for today. Um, it was nice doing one of these. I haven't done one in a while. And uh, I'll do more again in the future. So for now, tune into yourself. Tune into the messages that are there that are for your highest good. And uh, I'll see you on another video.